In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. Little pieces what the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. quantum physics all night. this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry mom, I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks mom. It 
would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Cartier Bresson, Toyno, Hamilton, the greatest. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Something good. Oh, something good tonight made me forget about you for now. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. Take your power seriously. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps.
morning clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. <laughs> Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Consider it done. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why would anybody even care? I thought artists helped each other. No brook here. Fine, I won't disturb you. The marks of Satan. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. 
What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Clearly not a morning person. This is both sad and pathetic. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Curiosity killed the max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. Hello, Victoria. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Dana is bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Hi Dana, how are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back. To my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow, thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. 
How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Sorry, I forgot. Juliet has no clue how much this is hurting Kate. I'm not watching the video, Max. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book.
Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. My desk is a pigsty, but... I know it ain't there. And nothing here. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. <sighs> 